Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Night Prayer for Saturday, April the 16th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 137, verse 1 to 6, and Romans chapter 11, verse 25 to 36. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For your sake, and the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept. Psalm 137 By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept. Remembering Zion, on the populars that grew there, we hung up our harps. For it was there they asked us our captors for songs, our oppressors for joy. Sing to us, they said, one of Zion's songs. How could we sing your song, O God beloved, on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not. If I prize not Jerusalem, above all my joys. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 11, beginning at verse 25. So that you may not claim to be wiser than you are, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand this mystery. A hardening has come upon part of Israel until the full number of the Gentiles has come in, and so all of Israel will be saved, as it is written. Out of Zion will come the Deliverer. He will banish ungodliness from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. As regards the gospel, they are enemies of God for your sake, but as regards election, they are the beloved for the sake of their ancestors, for the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Just as you were once disobedient to God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now been disobedient in order that, by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience, so that he may be merciful to all. O oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments, and how inscrutable are his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor, or who has given a gift to him to receive a gift in return? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. Into your hands, O beloved, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, union. Where there, is, where there is discord union, where there is doubt, faith. 
Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us, now and forever. Amen.